Want to be with your family every night? You think you have to justify that? You better stop right there, sir. You brought Chance home. Taking Chance is a moving new film from HBO that beautifully captures both the nobility and tragedy of each young person who dies in war. It's based on the real-life account of Lieutenant Colonel Michael Strobel, played here by Kevin Bacon, a career Marine officer and family man who is tormented by his failure to respond to the call to service in the wars of Iraq and Afghanistan. One day, Strobel decides he will ease his conscience by volunteering to escort the body of a Marine killed in Fallujah, Private First Class Chance Phelps. Strobel's story has been passed around on the internet since it was posted in 2004. It was made into a video essay that aired on PBS. For this fictionalized account, there is some invented dialogue and some scenes that are not in Strobel's account. If I'm not over there, what am I? Those guys. Guys like Chance. They're Marines. But taking chance is absolutely true to its subject, which is an exploration of honor and respect and our uneasy relationship to death. One of the more interesting things that I see in this film is its depiction of the largest military mortuary, and that would be at Dover Air Force Base. Now, you may know that Dover was in the news recently when a question at President Obama's press conference concerned the taking of photographs of those flag-draped coffins at Dover, which have not been allowed since 1991. And on a personal note, I find that taking chance speaks powerfully to two very real sentiments that I hold, even though they may seem contradictory. One, of course, is the tragedy and senselessness of war, particularly this war, but also the tremendous respect and sense of awe I have toward those who can give their lives to serving this country in the military. It's a sentiment we hear expressed in a letter written by Private Phelps's commanding officer read aloud in Taking Chance. It's ironic but I'm certain that if the world had more men like Chance Phelps, there wouldn't be a need for a Marine Corps. I'll be back with one more video pick after this. For over 10 years, TV Barn has been the source for independent news and commentary about television and the media. In addition to these videos, you can learn about your favorite shows, hear me sounding off about TV and media, and much more. Visit me at tvbarn.com and be sure to click on the Follow Me link to find out how to get the best stuff in your mailbox, iTunes, or RSS Reader. That's tvbarn.com. Next Tuesday, February 24th, on many public television stations, the series Independent Lens will air The Order of Myths, an intimate account of a city that holds segregated Mardi Gras celebrations made by a filmmaker who grew up in Mobile, Alabama, where the film is shot, an extraordinary film, one of the great documentaries that I've ever been privileged to see. That's Tuesday on many PBS stations, The Order of Myths on Independent Lens.